Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the dual inlet water valve on your refrigerator. And it's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a 5 16 snut driver, a pair of slip joint pliers, and a utility knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, we will need to disconnect the power to the refrigerator and we're going to have to pull it forward enough because we need to access the back. So we'll disconnect the inlet water supply, turn that off, and pull the refrigerator out enough that we can get out the back and then we'll go on with the repair. So we'll remove all of these screws from the cardboard back panel and set those aside. Set the back panel aside. Now we've already removed the inlet to the valve. So now we're going to take the valve from the frame of the refrigerator, remove the single 5 16 screw. Just lift that locating tab out of the hole in the cabinet, push it off to the left, and you can pull it out far enough to access it. There's two wire harnesses at the back that we need to remove. And we'll also need to disconnect the outlet tubing from the valve. Now yours may have the thread on type or a push on type. If there's a thread on, we just loosen those with our slip joint pliers. And you may get a little bit of water on the floor here, so you should have a towel handy to soft that up. Just unthread the connectors. Pull them out of the outlets, and we can discard the old valve. Now the new valve is a quick connect type of valve, so we'll need to remove the ends from the old tubing. So we'll take our knife and a block of wood so that we don't damage the floor, and then as close to that connector as you can get, we'll just cut a straight slice and snip the end of it off. There are two different sizes of tubing and two different size holes in the valve, so you can't make a mistake. I'm simply going to push that tubing in as far as it will go and pull back on it to lock it into place. Next, we'll reconnect the wire harness to the back. So we'll make sure that we have them on the proper terminals. One with the yellow wire will go closest to the right side, and the one with the orange and white wire will go to the solenoid on the left. Now when installing the new valve body to the side of the refrigerator frame, we'll need to first put that locating tab in and tilt the valve up until the screw hole lines up, and we'll reinstall that 5 16 screw. Next, we'll make sure that that outlet tubing is not against any of the refrigeration tubing where it might melt. We'll tuck the ice maker tubing into the appropriate slot on the valve body. Make sure our harnesses are still intact. We can then remove the protective cap for the inlet supply. Reconnect that inlet supply, put the back panel on, reconnect the power, and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.